In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you and we praise you for this wonderful gift of this precious day that you have given us. We thank you for this gift of time that you've given us. We thank you for every participant who has gathered here, Lord, and even those who will be listening on YouTube. Lord, constantly let this be the meditation of our hearts, that you and you are the only source. There is no other source except you. Holy Spirit, you know what each one of us needs. And the way you teach us, nobody can teach us. The way you guide us, nobody can guide us. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for making these truths so very simple, so very easy to understand. Holy Spirit, I know that you have taken complete authority of this entire Zoom session. You think through my mind, you speak through my mouth. Let every word that is spoken be only of yours and nothing of mine. And I bind every spirit of distraction, disturbance that has come to steal, kill, and destroy. In the name of Jesus, get out of this place right now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I know and I know that you are going to confirm every word spoken over here with signs, wonders, and testimonies. We make this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. So as usual, every day before I come to class, even I don't know what to talk about. As I told you all, I don't prepare and come for the class. Not that I don't study the word, but I don't prepare for the class. Because I want this class to be led by the Holy Spirit, not by me. Okay? So I was asking the Holy Spirit. I was like, Holy Spirit, you know, tell me, show me, reveal to me. What do you want me to speak about? And he gave me a very beautiful topic. Okay? So I will go to Psalms 62 verse 5. Praise God. Can someone please read it? My soul waits thou only upon God, for my expectation is from him. Praise God. So in this so psalm, okay, it was written by King David. He said, my soul, wait thou only upon God. Now, what is the difference between wait upon the Lord and wait only upon the Lord. No one else except God. Exactly. Okay. You know, uh, when we were studying, okay, or when we make, when we plan for our life, have you heard people saying, this is my plan A. And if plan A doesn't work, then there is plan B. Then there is plan C. Then pl there is plan D. Yes. 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 Why the person is making plan A, B, C, D? Because he doesn't have faith that it will work. Yes. Yeah. Praise God. Yes, God. So, okay. In this, I understood. Only when I put myself in a position, okay, in life, and I say, Lord, without you, I can't do anything. Only when I put myself in a place and say, there is no plan A, B, C, D. There is only one plan and that is God's will for my life. Yes, that is when I'm going to see the glory of God. The problem with most of us here is we want company. We want encouragement. We want somebody to be there to support us, to motivate us, to inspire us. Correct? Yeah. It is, not, it is not wrong. See, it is not wrong. It, as human nature, okay, we want somebody to encourage us. But am I putting my trust because that person is with me or am I making 
God, my only source. Thank you, Jesus. Because, okay, this scripture says, my soul, wait thou. Only, uh, can you, one of you all please mute whose mic is making noise. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. My soul, wait thou only upon God. For my expectation is from him. Okay. The Lord, you know, is teaching me on this. There was a time, okay, three years or two years back, where I was so dependent on my parents. Means, you know, like uh, I was so used to having them around me and I wanted them, you know, I never wanted to step out of home. Like the thought of leaving home and staying somewhere else, all those things would scare me. I would not like those thoughts. I really liked being in my comfort zone. And I remember two years ago, for the first time, I was put on COVID duty, okay, in a village which is away from home, 15 days away from home with people I have never lived with. They were my colleagues, but of course, I have not stayed with them. And it's a different experience. And I really did not want to go, okay? Because I have no one to depend with. I have no one to depend on. How will I manage? A lot of thoughts were coming, okay? And I was extremely unhappy with this. And I went. I went for the COVID duty, very upset. I said, God, I asked you to cancel this. You did not cancel it. See, the, those were the kind of prayers I used to make. Those were not the right prayers. Those were the prayers from my soul. Okay? But praise God, Holy Spirit convicted me. And I want to tell you all, you know what I learned in that experience? I saw God's favor upon me. I was staying in a hostel, which was a vegetarian place. Okay? And they were very strict that they are not going to give us non-vegetarian food. Okay? I was okay with that. But one day, I was, um, you know, craving for shawarma, okay? And I knew that there is no way I can get it because we are traveling with the team and the, after we finish our work of, you know, finishing our duty, we directly go to the hostel and there is no shops nearby and we are not allowed to get non-vegetarian food. So there is no way that I can, I can do anything to get shawarma. And I'm craving for it, okay? And I had not told anybody. And I said, Lord, you know, I want to eat it. I'm craving for it, okay? For that day, I remember, it never happens. But our vehicle stopped near a bus stand. And right in front of the bus stand was a shawarma shop. It would never happen. But that day, it happened. And in that, this is a small testimony, okay? But I learned how much God loves me. If you want to really experience an intimate relationship with God, you know what? You have to stop depending on people around you. Yes, God will use people to bless you. I'm not saying no. But you have to stop expecting from people around you. You have to stop expecting from your parents. You have to stop expecting from your children. You have to stop expecting from your friends. Expect only from God. Only when you make that a stronghold of your life, your life will not be natural. It will be supernatural. You will see his favor. And in those 15 days, I really understood how much God loved me because I could see his favor throughout. I could see when I was speaking to my other friends, what was the situation with them and what was the situation with me. It was so different. And the only difference was 
not because i deserved it but because he loves me when i have that intimacy with god doesn't matter where am i placed you might be placed in the village where there is no facility you might be placed in a place where you don't know what and how but god provides even there he provides because he is faithful to his promise and if i am not able to see it is because i have not renewed my mind i am not sensitive to his voice so every day never expect from people okay never put your expectation or your trust in people depend only on god if you live your life like this you will never have any complaints thank you jesus praise you jesus i'll give you another example okay when i started my bible class there were two two three three people or sometimes one person or sometimes nobody okay if i had to depend that okay you are coming for the class so i'll keep the class if three people come to the class then i'll keep the class would i be seeing the glory of god no no that is where i said lord doesn't matter who comes who doesn't come i'm not doing it for anybody i'm doing it because i love you i'm doing it because you told me you put the desire in my heart and i'm going to depend only on you and i saw in two years time okay i'm seeing how he is you know prospering me how he is making me successful how he is empowering me with the grace i'm also learning every day and every day there are so many opportunities to experience his intimacy and that's why i'm telling you all you all will not learn here in this bible class you all will only get a theoretical knowledge okay but you will actually learn when you put yourself in a place where you say lord without you i can't move today you know it surprises me i was a person i used to be so dependent so particular about things ale ata paya ni ulaita it no tem ata no laita la ata paya no laita tuka praise god thank you jesus okay all right so where were we we were speaking about yeah. i was talking about myself okay i used to be a person okay i used to have a lot of uh, you know i was very particular about things i would not want to adjust the thought of sharing my you know sharing my space with somebody it would really irritate me in the past but today i'm seeing how the word of god has you know changed me as a person because it is very very difficult okay to change yourself on your own ability you cannot some of you all here who have joined you all might be having some strongholds certain habits which you know is not necessary you know which is you know it it is it is better for you to change those habits okay and you don't know how to go about it but praise god it doesn't matter okay today the lord is saying you get into an intimacy with me you put your expectation on me you put your trust on me so it doesn't matter whatever is your habits don't try to change it you you know come and seek me you come and have an intimacy with me you will see your life change you will see a transformation and this is a continuous process it is not okay today i came to the bible class and my life 
you know some magic happened and my life changed no that is not going to work okay my life is going to change when i make it a constant decision to live in his presence every minute of my life i have to renew my mind every minute of my life i have to put my expectation only from him i have to make god my only source the issue here is okay god is our source but he is not our only source that is where the problem comes and that is why we have some other sources also other than god on whom we depend today the lord is telling each one of us including me leave aside those sources depend only on me because i will never fail you on any other thing that you put your expectation you will be disappointed if you put your expectation on your property what if an earthquake comes if you put your expectation on your money in a bank and that bank gets bankrupt then what will you do you put your expectation on your spouse and that spouse dies one day what will you do you will be broken that is why put your expectation from god can i share something here yes uncle yes uncle beautiful actually i just want something really transpired right now right just because it'll it'll skip out my mind see beautifully i like that word saying that you know god wants us to depend on him totally okay so this is the punch line he wants us to depend on him totally so um, uh, the what is the catch the catch is very simple everybody knows even even i mean i mean i'm talking about generally you know people who are atheists they don't know but people who know there is a god they know that god can do anything okay this is a fact now um, god wants us to depend on him this is a, a, an amazing revelation you just said it about a second ago so now what does this mean basically is that dependence again you know we as human uh, you use the word planning plan a plan b plan c plan d whatever that is we are depending on ourselves in simple uh, 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 language so Uh, you don't it doesn't mean that you don't make plans you make plans you 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 know work out things but uh, the get the bottom line is that we should know that he is the source he is he is the source of everything and that is the faith you know i think uh, if we can just uh, get that point in line with our uh, uh, life of living uh, so i think that is where you uh, you can nail it i mean uh, i have been able to understand it took me 63 63 long years to understand uh, the works of god and um, uh, this is it's it's quite simple basically uh, like i i uh, keep asking myself why couldn't god just work a miracle for all the poor people who are dying and suffering he's a he's a god he's a generous god he's a loving god but he doesn't do it. he wants us to depend on him so you see the miracles happen to the people who actually uh, callum don't do that baby don't do that uh, so that's it that's it i'll just uh, uh, mute my mic i i hope you got the message priya take it from here please yeah thank, thank you. you that was a very beautiful sharing god's grace is available to everyone but it is only when i depend on him i am walking in faith i am exercising my faith and praise god when i do that he is faithful to his word god is true to his promise when i do what is written in his word i see the breakthrough i see the miracle in my life praise god thank you jesus all right does anyone want to add anything i would like to add to say that uh, of course we when we make those plans uh, like i would uh, plan out something like i want so i would put it in place it in, in the hand of the lord and say lord this is what i desire 
and I thank you. You always fulfill the desire for heart. Let it be how you want it for me. Give me, even if it's not uh, according to you, give it to me what exactly you want or guide me by your spirit. And you know, it turns out to be different from what I expected, what I desired, it turns out better. I say, thank you, Jesus, for that. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank exactly. You, Jesus. His yes. plans are better than our plans. Yes. He says yes. also, no, in Isaiah, True. my ways are not your ways. Yes. My thoughts are not your thoughts. For as I'll... high as the heavens are from the earth, that is how great it is. Yes. That is how different. Knowing it, knowing it, I put it in, place it in his hands and I tell him, Lord, you do what is right and best yes. for me. Yes. I want to give a second sharing is, you know, uh, like you say, depend on him. You know, I uh, we used to go for uh, to visit in the hospital and we used to go like two, three of us. And one by one started dropping off and I was feeling alone, uh, just myself to go. And I was so, how do I go? How do I go? But there was one lady, uh, one of uh, in our company who encouraged me. She said, no, you go. The Holy Spirit is along with you. Don't get scared. You go alone. What is there to go alone? And I took up, I took a day, said, yes, Holy Spirit. And I used to say that Mark 1620, sign, sign will follow a company at the Holy Spirit will accompany us. And so I used to go and I got so used to it. I feel so joyful to go alone and minister alone. Like, you know, I know Holy Spirit is with me. Holy Spirit is going to do the job. And all. But then when the pandemic came, everything went standstill. Like, you know, now I can't go the way I was enjoying doing it and uh, Praying of the people in the hospital, all the department, maybe uh, orthopedic or maybe child, children specialists, all the department. And it was wonderful to know that God is there. That we depend on Him. I depended on Holy Spirit, knowing after that I was told, "Go, you, Holy Spirit is with you. Go, don't be afraid." That's how I I realized when you said, "Depend on God. Depend on God." Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you so much. We all have the gift of Holy Spirit. When we depend on him, he will teach us wherever we are. He will speak to us. He has his ways because Holy Spirit is very creative. He helped God to create the world, right? When God opened his mouth and spoke the word, Holy Spirit went and confirmed it. So when I sub surrender to the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit teaches me wherever I am, in the bathroom, in the train, in the village, in the hospital, anywhere. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Sister Regina, you want to say something? Yes, I want to uh, glorify God, you know, before uh, glorify God here because something really here. Uh, is uh, really good happening. That is that I was not supposed to come online again, but I, because time difference and all. So what happened is that uh, I was uh, I was hearing some teaching and about uh, how to, you know, uh, and doing a lot of this uh, because I had terrible uh, pain for some days here in this skull. So then I said, shall I talk to prayer? I said, then I said, no, I don't. Then after the Holy Spirit showed me something that I should listen and. Uh, and I was writing and writing some notes for many hours. And then I looked at the time. It is your teaching. So I said, ah, let me join. So just to glorify God and say, while I was doing the writing and all that, uh, and there was a prayer also about a rebuking and all. And I'm completely healed now. I can feel the pain is gone. So I'm come. Thank you and praise you, Holy Spirit and God. So yeah, I'm completely healed because this is God. Uh, yeah, because he, it was very wonderful, the teaching. It took many hours to write the notes and hearing and all. So, yeah, so it is, so that's very good. So that is what I want to. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, sister, for sharing that. To say yes. that I'm not running because not to run to people. So that is what Holy Spirit is teaching me now, not to call anybody and not to just to trust God, you know. So when you're saying that, uh, but we just heard about now what you were saying, that, uh, yeah, um, uh, fill me with your vocal cords and your word, your this, uh, your wisdom and, and your mouth everything God so that is what I I use the scripture you know uh, Luke 21 15 so it is so wonderful before yeah so before coming on what to say and what to not to say so all glory to God in Jesus name I pray amen yeah oh God beautiful 
I just want to say one one sentence. Today's reading, you know, from Jeremiah seventeen five, it says, "Cursed is a man who trusts in man, whose heart hmm. turns away from the Lord." Yes, yeah. and that's also I heard, uh, uh, Sister Priya, also about. You know, it is not good. It's a, it's a sin to uh, trust men and to trust mostly the word. So the word is God is uh, very very powerful. So this uh, yeah, hearing uh, doesn't matter what it is. Uh, very very interesting to hear how it, teacher people are doing it. Yeah, thank God. And that is what I got released. You know, so wonderful. Thank, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Beautiful. I also learned so many things. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for you know, inspiring me. Praise God. All right. So if there's nothing more, we can close for today and we can continue tomorrow. Sister Junita, would you like to make the Thanksgiving prayer? Sure, Sister. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you, Lord, for you are gracious. You are wonderful. You are, you are the counselor, the mighty God. Thank you for all that you have done in our lives, Lord. Thank you for opening our eyes to see this new day, Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Yes, Lord. We have to rejoice in every situation, Lord. Thank you for your loving kindness and tender mercies, which are new every morning, Lord. Thank you for your faithfulness, Lord. Even though we have not been faithful, you have always been faithful to us, Lord. And we give you the glory, we give you the honor, we give you the praise, Lord. Thank you for this wonderful, beautiful teaching the Holy Spirit is bringing day in and day out to our minds, Lord to live our lives according to your word, Lord. Your word and you depend on you and you alone, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. I make this prayer in the most mighty, awesome name of Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, sister, for that beautiful prayer. Thank you all for joining in and sharing. See you all tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.